hello everyone it's me asmr if welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i will show you the portrait retouching and editing i got some image uh, from a couple of months ago and today i'll show you another photo uh, like this this photo and if i consider this photo this one is non-edited image and uh, if i zoom it in here are some uh, backdrop uh, spots and here are some spots and lots of uh, things are like that not properly cropped in a way so all the thing is um, not okay so i'll show you step by step how to make it properly a polished image for your client and your like model so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first by pressing ctrl or command g you can get a new layer and after that in this panel i'll select this portion just go to the edit options and content error and fill and if you just consider these things uh, this portion shouldn't be this portion shouldn't be which portion you shouldn't be content error and uh, you can reduce that portion otherwise uh, it will take this area for the content error portion so i am deselecting this portion I'm using the Photoshop CC 2019 and 2020 all are same and hit the OK button it's taking time and hit the OK button okay it's gone and if I consider in this portion that's good and here as well so select that portion and again go to the edit options and continue work. You can go to the feel and continue from here then those are the same things and uh, here you have to select these things and go to the edit portion and feel from here continue and then hit ok it will take the pixels from the other side and it will be like this so one thing is that i can cut this image uh, for the background and uh, separate the background from this photo how to do that go to the quick selection tool select this layer before that you have to merge it out i'm making it merge and now i'm selecting this portion or you can use the paint tool so using the paint tool is the if you use the paint tool it will be more precisely smooth and uh, all is good so going to the paint tool p for the paint tool and select this portion and this area you have to give time for this just because of uh, if you want to make it more precisely done you have to just give time for that don't do hurry when you are doing the creative works this one is creative works and going forward so after selecting that make selection and hit ok and now i'll go to the select and select and mask options and i'll mask it out just because of uh, i want to make the transparent background so here make the like a uh, color like this uh, overlay type uh, like that so after that show the edges if i show the edges that's like and show the like this okay and after that come here make it more smooth and add some feather if i give some feather it will be like that and mask color will be red if i make it red it will be help you out to define the background or the subject is shifting is like that if i make it zoom okay here new layer with the layer mask and hit okay so the photo is like that and now i'll just take a new blank layer which is the solid color and take black color from here and i'll reduce the opacity okay it will make sense to add like that so 
the separated background but you are getting the full okay that's good here the fill color you can reduce don't reduce it too much okay that's good and now selecting three things making it group and make it the convert to smart object after that i'll crop it out so i'll make it uh, like a that's good so I, i'm just keeping the eyes in this uh, line just because of it's making the line which is important for this photo like that and hit the tick button okay this crop is good i'm just keeping the space from the head which is the head space and then go to the filter camera filter now i'll remove the spots from the face the zoom okay go to the spot healing brush tool and make it zoom to healing the spots so i have another detailed video about that and i am explaining all the things over here how to remove the spots here you can use that here is a spot visualizer and you can show the spots where appears and select over here it's uh, like a clone tool and you can easily make the clone from there this portion those area so before one let's see the before and after and here is another spots like that okay and hit the ok button after adding the like a uh, spot healing brush or spot removal imaginatic and portrait are free i'll provide the download link of the these plugins for the uh, like a retouch the skin so here i'm using the settings fine 9 medium 9 and large like that and i'll select this brush to select or smooth the area okay that's fine i'm keeping some shadow and highlight which is uh, important for this and here the teen temperature warm all the thing is like that 95 percent unmasked sharpening sharpness 40 soft and 91 soft and 19 and uh, warm minus one and teen minus plus six and brightness like that and let's see the before and after and hit okay okay let's see before and after before and after and after that go to the filter again now i'll do color correction for this photo and uh, here at first i'll go to the shadow and highlighting portion and i'll provide i'll give color to the face and other stuff which is the perfect color for this photo i want to make it a little bit warmy type so here i have to find out the proper color like this from here you can select the white balance properly which is the perfect for this photo select the uh, here you will get the proper face color from here and the shadow highlighting that is the split toning find out the color which is like this and like that and now go to the hue saturation and luminance make the orange hue like this and luminance i'll make it down and the saturation i'll make it up okay that's fine and now if i make it zoom all is good and now highlight i'll make it a little bit up and shadow i'll give the shadow a little bit and add some texture to the face and dehaze a little bit and after that go to the blue tone curve and make the blue tone curve like that you'll get the warm enough face the green don't make it too much green okay that's fine and the rgb tone curve i'll make it a little bit crama like that that's fine actually that's good and now whites a little bit up and blacks a little bit down and contrast a little bit up and the clarity a little bit too that's good and noise reduction portion add some luminance that's good and 
here the calibration if you need you can add the calibration and color like that and that's good and from here red primary plus 11 green primary 8 and the blue primary minus 16 that's good let's see before and after and i'm making the preset for you guys you can uh, save it out or you can uh, just get this one for your practice purpose and you can use it on your photography or try it in your photography so i'm just giving the name okay and save it out and here you go okay now let's see the before image was like that and after one you're getting like that now i'll go to the filter again and nick collection color fix pro 4 from the color fix pro 4 i will apply another preset for the face and other stuff from this panel i'm using the cross processing and lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photographs you have to pick it up and you have to just choose so i think this one is good and uh, get the strength minus or 17 percent is good for this photo and hit the ok button it will take time save and give you the final output so before one was like that non edited image and after adding the presets and other stars making the things like that in this portion you are getting like a shape is not good so how to make the shape perfect go to the filter and go to the liquify options from here two portion you are getting over here so shapes like that and make it bigger so make zoom and after making the zoom I'll just make the size like that so that's natural now yeah, that's good do carefully when you're doing like that just because of uh, when you're doing it it could be spoil the photo you have to just maintain this one carefully a bit not too much so you press once okay that's good If you need to increase the all other size you can do that so, yeah. Yeah. and you need to some like that you know here and other stops other okay, the ok button so let's see the before and after so before and after you are getting nice things and hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am signing out today stay at home don't go outside bye bye